hello guys welcome back in this video series we will learn windows form application so windows form application is used to design the application desktop application right guys so we will talk about how we can um, use windows form application to design the application so first of all we must know what is windows form application and how we can uh, create a project in windows form application right so I close this project and go to the file new and project after creating a project then you need to select windows farm application okay visit C sharp windows farm application and you need to write the enter of the project name but I will make uh, basically folder windows farm application Windows Form application files will store in the Windows Form application folder and I write the project name. The project name is WinForm. WinForm Review. Okay. And click OK. That's it. You will be able to see the Windows Form application on your console screen. So wait a couple of seconds to create the project then we are able to use the toolbox and properties okay now this is the UR windows farm application you will be able to design the application on this farm but we need to know the toolbox properties solution explorer and many other options basically this farm have personal property I go to right side and select the property then you are able to see those those properties those all properties have a windows farm application you can use it to set up your windows farm application right i want to increase the windows farm application size i can do that okay just drag and drop uh, on the corner side now the head many options available the first is form button and many other options you can use them to set up the form okay so i want to change the background color so i select back color and uh, custom and select the white okay now i want to remove the maximize button so here the all properties have uh, Windows Form application. So I change the basically. Where is the maximize? Okay, minimize and maximize. Here, this is a true means available. I select it and I select false. Then you are able to see the Windows uh, second maximize button has disabled. I save run the project then you are able to see the win maximize button has disabled okay now you can see this is a your application form but this time the form available in the left side we can't show the windows form on the center do you want to display this form on the center you need to select start position select the start position and select the center save around the project okay now you can see now the next is there are many other properties but I will tell you the important property which is used to design the form and application okay now I wanna change the basically uh, do you want to change the icon like this you can select the icon and click to drop down dot sign and select the image as you like okay now I will basically set up the form where is a form property I find the form property okay now form border style I select it and I want to change the style of the border I select none you can see it the form is blank I want to select for fixed single 
I wanna select fake 3D. I wanna select fix dry lock. You can select anyone as you like, but but we are using uh, the fixed single. Okay, this is normal. Now another important thing: uh, Do you want to remove the minimize or disable the minimize button or close button? You can do that. Okay. Now this is all about this form properties. Okay, you can use them to perform the different task or design the application like this. Okay, I close it and I go to basically a uh, solution explorer. This is a solution explorer and this is our form this form name I right click it and go to the open in the file explorer in this project you can see a uh, our form project okay now I am gonna create another form with this project under this project so what I can do this is our form right I right click it and go to add new atom and then select the windows form application and enter the form name form review 2 okay and click add this is our another form in this form I am able to set up this form I select it go to property this is another form I am able to use same process to center the screen and resize the form Okay, and I change the color background color and I disable the maximize button uh, where is the maximize maximize button uh, to you I double click it this is another option okay now this is our second farm this is our first farm okay I open the project then you are able to see this is a form review 2 and this is our normal form okay so this is uh, all about the farm property and form uh, windows farm so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back now in this video i'm gonna teach you toolboxes okay i go to toolbox the farm has available on my screen i go to toolbox and i auto hide I mean pin the toolbox bar then you are able to see the a lot of toolbox available you can use them to design the windows farm application right guys but in this video I will teach you label text box and buttons so I search on the toolbox search box label and you are able to see the label I simple drag and drop the label on the windows form application then you are able to see label 1 has disabled on the has appeared on the windows form application this label have personal property so I am able to use the label property to set up the label okay so I select label and go to the property and I change the uh, label name basically there are two names the first name is used to uh, programming language and second name is used to display the data on the console on the form application okay so this is a basically programming name I write I do not write anything else because I just display the text on the console on the Windows form application I scroll down this is a text okay this is a text I change the text then you are able to see that text will change on the windows form application I write name okay this is a property of the property okay uh, label property and there are many other properties available you can use them to set up the label okay and change the font size etc you can do that now I copy it and paste here second time and set up the second level and change the second level name I write the designation okay copy it and paste here third time 
I set up the third label and change the name display name right guys this is a display name salary okay now I wanna use text boxes to design the form so I select the text I just write text and you are able to see text box I drag and drop the text box on here then I am able to resize it okay then I select the play button and I select the multi line then I am able to increase or decrease size okay I copy it paste here and then you are able to set up design the form application depend on your mind okay those are three text boxes we will use them on programming language to get data and display on the screen okay so first step you select the each text box and go to property and change the name this is a basically name we will use on the programming language so first step you need to write the exact uh, text name I write txt name I select the second label and I change the name txt designation and third txt salary we need to use the button we will uh, use the button to display the data on the screen so I select the search the button on the toolbox and select the button on here and I am able to use the button properties like uh, uh, standard pop-up and flat standard there are many other properties available in the button I just uh, keep it and I change the just text and also button uh, programming name T btn set okay and I wanna change the display text so I go to below and select the text property and change the name set okay those are basically um, I mean toolboxes and each toolbox property I set up the form and okay this is our form in this form I have placed three labels three text boxes and one button in the next video we will talk about how we can use it to display the data on the screen okay so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can generate the event on click and get text boxes data on the screen okay so first of all I select the button and go to property in this property you are able to see the event icon I click it and there are a lot of event you can use them to generate the event but I have already used click event it means on click event so I select the click event and double click on it then I am able to use the on click event this is the event section okay starting and closing skilly brackets in this starting and closing skilly bracket you are able to use anything else as you like for example I want to check the event working or not so I write the message box dot show and write hello then you need to write terminal sign set run the program I click save okay now this is a basically event it's working fine now I go to my farm section design farm then I will get the each text box data in the programming language and display on the screen on click 
so I go to farm I mean uh, programming side then I make a variable string enter the name of the variable I write the name then I use equal sign then I use programming text box name okay I go to the f f uh, farm select the text box go to property and select the, this setting I mean property option setting icon go to the above this is the programming name okay I copy it and paste here and write the dot text that's it and I use message box dot show and call your name is concatenation sign and name variable save and run the program I write asif and hit enter your name is asif okay now I close it so we will get the another text box data so I make a variable string enter the variable name and designation I use same process to get the second text box data so I use txt this is the second text box name txt designation dot text okay I make a integer variable so basically the salary is integer type so we will get the integer type data on the integer variable so I make integer variable then I use equal sign then you need to use same process to convert the data integer type I write int dot parse parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to write the third lab text box name okay that's it so I call those data on the sorry I write the message box dot show your name is concatenation sign first variable I use concatenation sign your designation is second variable name concatenation sign your salary is concatenation sign and third variable name that's it save and then run the program I write as if programmer and I write the salary okay your name is Asif, your designation is programmer, your salary is 555. Five, five, okay. Now, another thing, for example, I want to display the all data in the label. So, I copy the label basically and paste here. Any place as you want to display the data, I select the, the label and set up the label on here then I click label go to property and remove the label text name okay text name which are display on the screen I remove it then I go to above and change the basically programming name I write LBL display enter any name as you like okay so I go to form one and I will use the basically I copy the line like this and comment it then I call lbl display dot text and I use equal to txt name okay dot text and this is the label one text will uh, I mean one text box data will display on the text box label one okay so and run the program uh, yeah I use as if okay just a minute guys label one text uh, what is text okay sorry I I 
اکلت نام سوری یوز آسف کی وٹ از پرابلم ناؤ گائز آئی جسٹ کمنٹ اٹ کی سو اینڈ اندر پروگرام آئی یوز آسف اوکے ناؤ گائز یو کین سی آسف ہیز اپیئرڈ ان دی لیبل سیکشن so you can use it to display the name on the message box or label so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video i'm going to teach you radio buttons and checkbox how you can use radio buttons and checkbox to uh, set up the form or design the form and also use the radio buttons and checkbox in the programming language Okay. Before understanding the radio buttons and checkboxes, we need to know another thing. In previous lecture, I have displayed the only one variable value on the label, but you can use designation salary and many other variables in this single label. How? That's very simple. Use concatenation sign, double quotation. It is basically space, and I use concatenation sign second variable name concatenation sign double quotation space concatenation sign third variable okay so I can run the program I write as if programmer okay as if programmer and 2500 right let's see the radio buttons and I copy and paste the label and into the label name copy go to property and change the display name only display name gender okay then I go to toolbox and select the radio button drag and drop radio button 1 radio button 2 copy and paste select one radio button and display the text change the display text null and change the programming name I write the programming name rbt and mal and select second radio button and change the programming name rbt and female and change the text female okay I go to program okay I close it do you want to use I mean go to the programming side on the form section there are two ways first is double click on it you are jump on the programming side close it now second is go to the solution explorer and right click on the form this is second form sorry form one this is our form one data I right click it and go to view code okay this is a farm code okay you can use anyone as you like I double click on it and I am available on the event generator okay now I make a variable gender just to make a variable okay then I use if statement parenthesis and I call the rbt and mail use dot checked checked if arbitrian male is checked to display the gender value mal and I use else statement to display gender value female female okay now I will use the gender variable on the label double quotation space concatenation sign and gender variable set or run the program I write as if programmer salary I select mal okay but I need to change the label or uh, button uh, okay save and run the program I write as if programmer salary and male okay I change the uh, female okay change the 
and now the next thing is I wanna use checkboxes copy and paste the label and change the label display name uh, I use the review okay and I go to toolbox and select the checkboxes okay checkbox drag and drop checkbox copy and paste checkbox select first checkbox and change the programming name C chk good you can write any name as you like right and I change the text good and I select second checkbox very good change the programming name chv good okay I double click on the button and then I use same process to make a variable and make a variable a string review into any name okay then I use same process if else statement I call chk good dot checked and call the review variable and assign the value good and call else statement called review dot very good okay then I just call variable on the label section okay paste and save another program write name asif programmer mal very good key and check it good good female female okay now you can use them to design the application and use the if else statement and set up the uh, form as you like I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can display the text box radio button and check boxes data in the grid view so let's get start to understand go to the toolbox and search the data grid view drag and drop the grid view and set up the grid view in the form I change the location of the button and I set up the grid view change the grid view name programming name I write the DT data grid view okay then I double click on the button event first step you need to make a object of data table data table is uh, basically data table is used to um, assign the value in the grid view okay now the first step you make a object of data table this is the data table now the next step you need to initialize the variable on the class under the class we will use it on later so I copy it and paste here to time and I just change the string okay because I will use it in the next I mean another way another part so I copy it and paste well and change the type I mean remove the type and cut it paste well, okay those are our variables under the class section then I am able to access them under the class section okay now the next thing you need to make a method I have already basically make a method public wire display in this method you need to call the data table object and call the columns 
dot add first step you need to define the columns name okay copy it paste 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 this is a, your column names write the designation salary gender and then finally RL okay then the next step you need to call data row and make object of data row and assign the dt dot new row okay assign make object dt dot new row parenthesis and in this dr object you need to initialize the variables which will use to get the text from text boxes and radio buttons I have already get the text uh, values from the each variables like uh, name designation salary and I have initialized those variable on the class under the class section then I am able to access them okay so I call dr and write the array range 0 and assign the value in first index number name copy it paste 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 and change the index number 2 3 4 5 change the variable name designation and then salary gender and then finally review then final step you need to call the basically the final step you need to call dt dot rows dot add and parenthesis and call the dr finally you need to call the data grid view dt okay and use dot sign data source and initialize the dt that's it so and copy the method and paste under the event I mean on click event save and then the program and I enter the value as if programmer and enter the value female good okay name those are basically uh, columns name you can see here name designation salary gender and uh, review and here our name programmer and uh, salary and um, basically gender okay now another thing you need to know I'm gonna click on the button then the text boxes will uh, automatically will empty or uh, empty okay so I will make a method public wire display I write the empty then I call txt name dot text equal to empty txt designation txt name dot text equal to empty txt dot salary sorry salary salary txt salary dot text equal to empty and uh, t mm, txt what is the name of the those are basically ready buttons so I can't use or uh, use them save copy the method name and paste under the event I mean on click okay run the program and then enter the salary mail good the data has been blanked I mean text box are blanked okay now you can use it to perform the different task okay guys so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you combo box how you can use combo box to insert the value and also get the combo box selected value on the console on the screen 
so let's get start to understand so first step you need to go on file new project and then enter the project name or write the project name combo box then I go to toolbox and search on the toolbox label drag on drop label and also combo box that's it okay and also I use button this is our combo box this is our button and I change the basically label name course okay and I select the change the button name save and change the programming button name btn save and also select the combo box change the combo box name cmb course and then I change the any other thing I do not change any other thing okay so first step I wanna display the value on the console on the combo box so first step you need to double click on the any white place on the form then you will be able to see the event has generated namely form load it means form will load then the data will appear on the combo box so first step you need to call the combo box name I write the cmb course dot atom dot add add and in this parenthesis you need to enter the values I write the C sharp programming copy and paste uh, many times and C++ programming C programming Java PHP ok then I will run the program then we will be able to see the data will appear on the combo box let's check it ok now I'm gonna display the each selected value on the basically message box so what I can do first step you need to select the combo box and go to properties and select the events and select the selected index change this is a basically event double click on it okay selected index changed then you need to make a variable I make a variable a string name this is our variable name and I use HL sign and calls combo box selected selected value dot to string okay then I call message box dot show and I call the variable on the message box that's it save and run the program then I select the combo box and then I select the any value okay I think I fetch the error okay don't worry I will tell you what is problem selected value I write selected selected where where selected atom so under the program okay now you can see I select the Java programming now you can see it Java programming I wanna select this PHP programming PHP programming okay this is a basically on select change the event but I want to display the event I mean a data which will appear on the combo box I want to select any one value then the value will appear on the message box so what I can do first step you need to select the form and double click on the button to generate the event this is another way to create a event okay now the next thing copy it and paste here the variable you need to make a under the class then you are able to use this variable under this class and then I remove the string type then I just copy the message box and paste message box on the 
on click I mean button on click let's check it select C++ ok now you can see this is a call basically combo box how you can use it and display the value on the combo box and use event to get the selected value on the variable and you will be able to use the variable in the event section or store the value on the grid view you can do that okay i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video i'm gonna teach you how you can use panel to design the menus in the uh, windows form application so I have made the project with the name of panels and the default form available on my screen so I set up the size of the form for example this is our form size and I go to properties and set up the properties of this form uh, the default screen which will appear on the center and I change the background color white now the next thing I wanna disable the maximize maximize sorry this is the minimize here yeah, maximize okay so I go to toolbox and then select the panels search the panels and here you can see the panel drag and drop the panel on the windows form application then you are able to use or set up the panel any place as you like okay but the best way to use the panels select the panel go to property and then find the dock option here dock select it and here the whole form size is available on the dock type you can select anyone as you like for example I want to display this panel on the header section so I select the above or header section dock section and you are able to see the panel available on my header section do you want to display the left side just select it and you are able to increase and decrease the panel size okay now the best way is to use the panels in the top uh, corner okay now I wanna decrease the size of the panel then I am able to use the change the background color and uh, add the buttons on the panel and many other things you will do there okay but I go to browser and this is a color picker website fillet color and I pick the color like uh, red and go to my project and find the color for color paste the color on here ok this is not I just where is the ok ok for back color here ok I change the back color ok now you can see here now the next thing I wanna include the button and also image with will appear on the panel size I mean include or inside the panel so I go to toolbox and uh, search the button and drag on drop the button on the panel and uh, set up the button and I wanna add the image inside the button or under the button so I select the button and uh, I go to the air yeah, you can see it the image I select the image option and click to dot signs and then import I click import I have many images like uh, the logo invoice add items product reports and self productions etc so I select the first image and open it and click ok ok image has appeared on that button I wanna set up the image so I select the align of the image here you can see the image align I select 
the drop down menu and select the left side okay now the next thing I want to set up the button text so I just uh, change the text registration okay now another thing I wanna change the button style so this is time button style is standard I select flight okay then I wanna change the button color okay so this is I think uh, this is a basically button background color but I don't like it I just change it I use same color copy it and paste okay what is this uh, okay I just button okay I want to select the button color just a minute guys button color mm, where is the button color for color font uh, where is the okay, appearance no 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 this is a not button color for color and background color I change the this is the background color of button I change the button color where is appearance fillet style for color I change the for color I will check it okay that's great for color then I set the image uh, align so I select the image align and select the right side image align this is the option image align so I change the image align where is the text align option I find that basically image align and also text align yeah, you can see text align select text align and right side okay now you can see it then I wanna change the font size so I select the font and use the font this and I increase the size of the font okay I wanna I think this is the best but I wanna increase okay this is a great okay save and run the program okay guys now you can see here our panel our button okay I click it I am able to use this button to display the form or many other activities the next thing I wanna include another button so I just copy the button and paste here okay and select the second button and change the second button image this is the image so I select the image import and I select second image okay and I change the text which will appear on the second button I write the invoice okay and I copy it and paste here I decrease the size of the second button okay and select the third button and change the third button image okay and change the images uh, text at items okay copy and paste here and I change the image just you need to change the image and okay and I use products okay copy and paste here and I change the image reports I change the image reports text okay finally a copy and paste the final button and decrease the final button size and change the image and I use final image and
and change the shop I think save this is the best way to design the application okay I run the program okay now you are see the image uh, button looking so nice this is our application look now another thing do you want to add the image on the windows form application you can do that but i will tell you on later so i hope you understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video i'm going to teach you how you can use or uh, include the image and also how you can use menus so first of all we will include the image on the windows form application in the whiteness area so I'll go to toolbox and uh, search on the toolbox picture box okay picture box drag and drop and set up the picture box okay then I go to a play button this is a play button I select it and choose image import the image basically I have already downloaded the image like this so I select this image open and okay now this is our image do you want to set up this image you can select again play button and this is a mood of the image normal scratch and auto resize center zoom this is the image uh, features you can use it okay now the next thing I'm gonna include the menus in the application so I go to toolbox and search on the toolbox menus just drag and drop the menus okay now you can see a menus option appeared on the header section I select it and enter the name of the menu for example all right home then I'm gonna include I'm gonna make a drop down menu so I select the second uh, like this option otherwise I'm gonna create another menu so I select the strength line another input text box so I use the um, exit okay save and then the program okay now you can see here but I think I need to set up the image okay cell and on the program now you can see here guys our application looking so nice okay now I wanna use event on button click so I double click on it to generate the event and write on the message box dot show registration form save and run the program okay now I want to include the basically event on the menu so I double click on exit button I mean exit uh, menu then I just write the this dot this dot I just write environment dot exit okay zero that's it save run the program exit close it run program exit close it run program and I click registration okay exit closed okay guys so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can create a student registration form and also design it then we will be able to use on click I mean registration on click to display the another form on our screen okay so first step you need to select the solution explorer right click on the panel go to the add new item and select windows form enter the form name and set up the form okay and go to property and set up the property of the form center 
and then I change the background color with the form white and I go to the basically toolbox and search on the toolbox group box group box set up the group box okay and change the group box name basically registration okay and I change the background color of the group box white okay now I need to get the label button and put text file text boxes radio button and then grid view basically we will use them to set up the form right guys so I first set up the label and change the label name name and I change the font size and also design and also font size and I set up the in protect field ok copy it paste it and change the basically second label name I write the last second label name mm f name ok copy both text boxes and also labels copy and paste change the text designation and then I change the email ok I change the only daisy okay now the next is I copy the both text boxes and labels and paste here then I change the ID and I write the what I can write the Fail to get the data name, father name, designation, email ID, and then then I'll write the basically what I can write in the final text box. Okay, I just remove it and I just change the right gender. And set up the radio button one and two, and I write the male and female. We will set up them programming names on later, but this time we need to set up the basically. Okay, I need to write another field like address. I write the third address ok copy and paste here ok and set up the this is our grid view ok now I need to I just set up the form okay guys this is our form and I select group box again 
and set up the group box in the right side and then I where is the button cut the button and set up the group box and I paste the button okay now I select the fillet color copy the color and paste the button color and uh, select the strand uh, flat and I remove the border okay and change the text basically cell okay and I set up the font size and also design I use the 10 then is too small I select 12 and change the font color okay copy and paste save update delete set up the font to change the text I like delete okay now those are our buttons we will use them to perform this operation I mean save update delete okay I change the group uh, name operations okay that's great now the next thing I wanna use the daytime picker to display the date time on the that's so nice uh, now I wanna use this form this form on registration click so what I can do first step you need to double click on the registration to generate the event then you need to make an object of another form like a registration this is a, another form namely registration so I need to make a object so I go to form and make an object I write registration rj to new registration this is another form object so I just copy it the registration name paste dot show that's it say run the program okay I click Okay, now guys you can see okay but I need to remove the maximize button in the in, on this form so I find the maximize button okay. now another thing I'm gonna increase this form size okay so I Okay, just a minute, guys. I paste Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I think this is looking so nice, but I'm gonna increase or decrease the size of the farm. I can do that okay guys so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how we make connection between Windows form application and a SQL server so I have already opened the SQL server and I wanna connect with SQL server with Windows form application to store the data on the database so first step you need to right click on the any white place and go to the view code first step this is our basically registration form 
in this form you need to go on the library section and import the library using system.data.sql client after importing the library then you will be able to use SQL Server queries there are two ways to make a connection the first way is I make up for example string variable and I use path and assign the value data source use this is a basic way okay and equal sign terminator sign initial catalog equal sign terminator sign and then integrated security integrated security I use to because I will use SQL server to connect with the help of Windows authentication mode I open this and I select the uh, connect to object if I wanna connect the Windows I mean username and password so we need to enter the username and password on here but I wanna connect the SQL server Windows authentication mode so I just write to you okay then click to connect this is our SQL server okay and then finally you need to write terminator sign okay the first step in the data source you need to go on the SQL server and click to connect uh, basically connect to server copy the server name this is our server name copy it and paste here in the initial catalog you need to enter the database name so I connect the database and select new query and I will create a database I will create database registration database this is the database name right and select the query and press F5 to run the query we have successfully made the database with the name of the registration then I when I use this database so I use enter use keyword and the database name the database name is registration select another query so you need to copy the registration I mean database name and paste on the on initial catalog equal to your database name okay you have successfully made the connection between Windows form application to SQL server this is a call string string connection okay now as you can see the error has appeared do you want to remove it you just write again forward slash now another thing do you want to use do I mean another way like uh, use add the right sign to remove the error there are two ways to you can use them to remove the error okay uh, after completing the whole process like this then you need to call SQL connection to make object SQL connection parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to pass the path okay path okay okay just a minute uh, what is problem one a minute guys I make a SQL connection I call SQL con connect connect basically just a minute guys I write I go to uh, registration and double click uh, to save button to generate the event and in this uh, event I call con equal to new connection and pass the path okay now we will use con to perform the different task like insert data update data delete data now I will check another point I cut it and paste it okay that's working this is a call connection okay now in the next video we will learn how to insert data into database so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how we can create a table to store the application data in the database in previous lecture we have made the database with the name of 
registration so I use the keyword use and registration then I am able to store the data I mean store the table in the registration database so we will use the registration database to get the data from database and store the data database as well okay so first thing I want to create a table the database working process is column wise and row wise I will tell you I make a open the MS Word and open the MS Word select the I mean table and I wanna create a 8 column so I select the 8 column and how many rows I mean just write the column you need to enter the column then you will insert the record in the database I just write there I write EMP ID name and F name designation gender and I write any other thing email and uh, address ID okay those are our uh, columns each column will store each data type values for example employee ID will store I mean I mean I store the integer type so I just write the int type of this column then this column will store the integer type value this column doesn't support the string type okay so those are columns I will uh, use string type so I use varcha r and varcha those are basically data types which will store the string type data right so I copy them paste 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 and paste and finally paste I don't require to use the integer type because I just write the text format to store the data I do not perform the operation like in addition subtraction division if I will use these additions so I will use the integer type right now another thing after creating a table and columns creating a table and columns then I want to store the data then this column will automatically generate the number one I don't require to use or enter the number one because I will use integer and also primary key identity primary key identity will use to generate the unique number okay and I use asif so I just write double comma I mean single comma and asif and use same process copy and paste 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 Paste. I will store the string format in the each column so I just use a single comma in the single comma I use the text I wanna store the table okay so this is the process of uh, database copy it paste 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 I wanna delete any record so I just select the row and delete the record the same way we will use in the database okay so you must know the basic way to use database okay so I go to my SQL server and I make a table I use create a keyword table then table name the table name I write the imply then you need to write parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to define the column name and also data type I use imply ID this is a column name and I need to define the type of the column I use integer it means it will store integer type value right guys then I will use primary key identity it will store I mean it will generate the unique numbers okay I use one by one it means display the one value and also increment one value okay it is best way to use the primary key identity and this is the best pretext to use one by one then you need to enter comma and I'm gonna create another column so I use the imply name you don't need to write the 
space because it is not support in the SQL Server. You need to enter the uh, semicolon. Uh, I mean uh, underscore sign. It is possible and it is supported in the SQL Server. Now I use varchar and I will enter the range of the column. It will store five fifty characters. Okay. Then I use comma and imply f name watcher I use 50 imply email watcher 50 imply what is the column name email I use email ID imply ID I type watcher 50 and then imply ID I will already define so I use to imply EMP ID okay now the next is gender type watcher and then I address final address a double d a double d r s type watcher those are our columns the first column is primary key identity we don't need to enter the first column value we enter we need to enter the name email I mean F name imply ID gender address 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay I think one more column we need to enter designation okay okay the first name f name name f name designation then email okay I will make a series wise columns because we will store the values series wise it is best way to store the data and get the data from database so I select the whole query and click to execute our table has been generated in the database I will not display the table so I need to use select statement and static sign and then from keyword and then table name the table name is imply or copy the table name and paste here select the query and run the query now guys you can see here one two three four five six seven eight columns has been appeared in the database I will store the data in the database table so what I can do I use insert query insert into another keyword then table name the table name is imply and enter the value keyword in and use parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to use single comma because we don't need to enter the first column I I mean value we need to enter the string type value imply name so I write the asif and then comma I will store another column value so I use single comma and I use carrying box and then I use the single comma pro comma and then email I just read admin at the online com. imply id I just write the 102.757 address I just write the Pakistan select the query and press F5 and primary key identity 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok one more thing uh, name father name designation email okay one more thing I need to uh, gender okay after the email this is the email and ID okay before the Pakistan we need to enter the gender I just write the gender and that select the query and run the query now one row affected it means one row will store in the database so select the query select static from imply and execute the query 
now guys you can see here employee ID has automatically generated now I just enter the first column second third fourth fifth sixth seventh column values I do not enter the number one or first column value okay now I will store another value then the automatically will generate second number on the database table like employee okay so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have made the table in the database with the name of employee and we have stored the data in the table like employee manually okay we do not use the application to store the data in the database but in this video I will tell you how you can use the application to store the data in the database okay let's get start to understand first step open the visual studio and open the form in previous lecture we have made this form okay now I select the each text box and change the programming name I use txt name and I change the second text box name txtf name txt designation txt designation and txt email you can write any name as you like but I just write a readable name txt id txt gender no I don't need to select the I just uh, select the radio buttons I write the rbtn mail and uh, rbtn female okay last is txt address okay after including the name of the each text box radio button and uh, and the final step you need to double click on the save button to generate the event so first of all I will store the data in the database so first step you need to call the connection object okay this connection before call the connection you need to write try catch it will help to find the error and handle the exception exception e and write the message box dot show and call e dot I write ex ex dot message in this try body you need to call the cone dot open parenthesis then you need to make a object SQL command SQL command is used to run the SQL server queries okay after connection open then you need to call CMD and use new keyword SQL command parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to write double commas in, in double commas you need to write the same query like this insert into the values I use values then you need to write the parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to write the each column name without this column name imply name imply those name I mean those variable okay so I just copy the each column name and paste here and I use comma second comma third comma fourth comma and fifth comma and finally gender and also I think okay address okay then you need to enter the values after this parenthesis you need to write the values keyword no, instead into implies cut the value keyword just write insert into imply and select the whole columns after the parenthesis you need to write the values 
keyword after this parenthesis then you need to write again parenthesis okay in this parenthesis you need to use single comma double comma plus plus sign okay single comma double comma plus plus sign in this plus plus sign inside you need to enter the each text box name the first text box name is txt name so I select the txt name dot text you same process this column will match the first column to store the name okay then I use I copy the basically single comma double comma plus plus sign and first column name and I use comma and paste the same code and just change the second text box name that's it use same process I use comma and paste the same code single comma double comma plus plus sign and the text box name the third text box name is txt I think email designation okay designation designation okay De designation txt designation txt designation dot text and I use comma after single comma you need to write comma okay then paste the call I mean code single comma double comma plus plus sign and the text box name I will change the text box name the first text box name is email so I write txt email dot text and I use comma after single comma I, I use comma and then I paste the code and I ID basically I change the ID EMP ID what is the name the uh, this column I select this um, column txt ID copy it and paste here and write that text and you need to write the same process single comma double comma plus plus sign and I use gender only I use gender because we will make the variable with the name of gender okay now the final is we need to write the single comma first comma then single comma double comma plus plus sign txt address dot text after completing this process you need to write the comma and call con dot open just call con okay okay now you can see here uh, this basically this double comma is start to uh, run the SQL server query after completing the double comma okay then you need to write comma and call connection object we have made connection object on here okay and I use the SQL connection to initialize the connection and pass the path okay now the next is I will make a variable string gender and I use if parenthesis split bracket else I use gender arbitrary email dot checked checked gender equal to male otherwise gender equal to female okay now I pass this variable on the string query connection like this okay now the next thing is first I copy the connection and paste on here then I cut the whole code and use if else statement to check the text boxes are empty or not if our text box are empty to display the message otherwise store the data in the database so I use if statement split bracket and else statement 
else and I use txt dot name txt name dot text equal to double comma and I use our operator txt f name dot text equal to empty or sign okay txt name f name dot text equal to empty okay txt designation dot text equal to empty okay and then I use or sign txt text or d dot text equal to empty okay I need to write the equal sign two times and then guys I use same process txt designation for the name email where is the email dot text equal to empty txt R sign first txt id dot text equal to empty okay now I paste the code in the else statement and I use message box dot show on the if body please fill in the blanks okay now finally we need to write the cmd dot execute non query to run the query and store the data on the database and I wanna display the message box but I use con dot close then display the message on the con on the screen your data has has been saved in the database okay guys so let's check it save and run the program and then wait a couple of seconds to load the program then we will be able to store the data on the database I first click to save please fill in the blank okay I enter the one value please fill in the blank B K C D E your data your data has been said why I do not use ID and address column to check the condition okay txt ID okay I need to write the another text box name like uh, txt address dot text dot text okay sir equal to empty okay so open the SQL server and run the statement we will see the another data available but I use truncate table basically the truncate table is used to refresh the table data it means after using this query we will be able to see the data will delete okay so I run the query and use in a first I run the statement now guys you can see here no data available in the database I use some query insert data into database to store the one record in the table and I use some select statement okay now let's try again okay I use okay I use C D E I do not enter the address box okay now you can see here I use C I remove the any other text box I can't store the data in the database without any text box are empty okay so let's enter the correct data comma moment on programmer admin at the road for online attitudes dot com Oh, 102758 and select the gender male Hadra was in Pakistan 
okay i select to save your data has been saved okay now let's check it okay guys come on come on but i wanna i wanna change the name basically so whereas application i use asif kalimbash basically i have used many time to check the each connection i mean each way to insert the data in the database so i have tried many times i do not change anything else i just change the 57 id cell okay now another thing i close the program i wanna insert the record in the database then the whole text box will empty okay so what I can do the first thing you need to make a method okay this is a basically else statement body this is our event body after this body you need to make a method public wired clear enter any name as you like and parenthesis is clip bracket in this clip bracket you need to write each text box name dot text and use actual sign to input okay txt name txt name dot text equal to empty txt designation dot text equal to empty txt email equal to dot text equal to empty txt id equal to empty txt basically um, address the text equal to empty okay i need to write the dot text line that's it copy the method and paste the method after the display message on the screen like this and then paste the method and use terminator sign then we will store the data on the database then the text boxes will automatically input okay run the program registration i write um, karim bash and i use the the operator email asset gmail.com 102759 and mail Rachi send Pakistan okay guys so I click to save button the data has been saved then we will see the data the text box are empty okay guys so let's check it the data will store or not okay guys now you can see it so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video i'm gonna teach you how we can display the database value in the grid view now this is our grid view i wanna use the database i mean i wanna display the database value in the grid view so what i can do guys first step open the uh, code and make object sql data adapter i make a object adpt and you need to make a also object data table okay now the next thing is i will uh, basically make a method this is a clear method okay i just remove it and i make a another method public wire display you can write any name as you like and in this parenthesis i first complete the object of data table then i call con connection open okay con means connection we have already made the con i mean connection like this and this is a connection object i initialize the connection on the constructor then i am able to use connection open and connection close then you must be write the connection close it is best way to use it okay i have already in this 
starting and closing I mean opening and closing connection you need to call ADPT equal to new SQL adapter parenthesis double commas in this code double commas you need to write the select static from the database table name the database table name is implied now I select the same statement now guys you can see here select static from imply select the query and on the query now you can see here the data has been appeared in the table so you can use same query okay now after using this query you need to write comma and then call con okay con this is the object of connection then I use adpt dot fill parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to pass data table object okay then finally you need to call data grid view the data grid view default name is data grid view one and I use dot sign data source and assign the value dt okay that's it so but the best way is you need to write the try catch catch exception ex and in this parenthesis I mean try parenthesis you need to paste the code and uh, I use message box dot show ex dot message okay so now I copy the method and paste the method on load I mean on the constructor the constructor will starting time run okay so I paste the code and run the program registration now right you can see here the data has been appeared in the grid view now another thing I will tell you after inserting the data in the database I wanna display the record on the grid view so I just uh, need copy the method and paste the method after the clear method okay then I run the program basically uh, we will see I insert the na name called in moment on and I use the student harden at gmail.com and the ID 102762 mail okay we need to write the address Hyderabad in Pakistan so okay now guys you can see here this is a call display the data in the grid view okay guys so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about display data in the grid view in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can perform the update operation but before working on update button we need to get data from grid view to text boxes and also radio button then you are able then you will be able to use update button uh, perform the update operation okay so first step select the grid view and generate the event go to the property and event I find there are many other event I find cell double click event okay this is the cell double click event now another events available cell content click cell click you can generate anyone as you like but I generate cell double click okay double click on it to generate the event after generating the event you need to make a variable okay so I define the variable on above because we will use it on the uh, perform the delete operation so we need to use this variable okay so I define the variable on above with the name of ID and then I come into the data grid view cell double click event 
and then I call same variable and I use equal and I use convert and dot parse parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to write the data grid view name the data grid view name is data grid view one and I use dot rows in this parenthesis you need to write the e dot row index what is e basically e is the object of data grid view cell event arrange okay okay now after the bracket you need to write the dot cell parenthesis then you need to write the index number of the cell the default index number of the cell 0 it means number 1 in column like this okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so you need to follow the 0 index wise number okay then you need to write dot values dot to string parenthesis that's it you have got the ID from grid view and assign the ID with this variable so you need to use some process call the txt name dot text equal to and copy the I copy basically the whole line data grid view e index and I just change the index number that's it finally you need to write terminator sign okay and I use txt f name dot text and equal to I paste the code and just uh, change the index number okay first txt name sorry guys just change txt name f name and then third is designation txt designation dot text and paste the code and just change the index number okay then uh, designation email txt email dot text and use the same code paste and for txt uh, id txt id dot text equal to dot to string and change the basically file then we need to use if statement to check the condition uh, radio buttons okay then we will get the data from radio buttons so I use rbtn mail dot checked equal to false rbtn mail female dot checked equal to true okay then I use if a statement parenthesis split bracket in this parenthesis I use the data grid view dot rows same process brackets e dot row index dot cell parenthesis this whole cell number is 6 here you can see the file I have already included so I use the 6 dot value dot two string parenthesis after the parenthesis you need to write double kill sign and double commas and write the female if the cell number 6 dot value dot two string equal to female then come into the if statement and call the rptn mail dot checked to false I have defined basically on about two and the female false okay after the else I mean uh, false and terminally you need to write the rbt and female dot checked equal to two okay then you need to write the final uh, text box txt address dot text equal to and copy the line and paste here just change the index number 7 okay save 
and in the program okay I double click on now as you can see here okay I double click on OSIF okay we have got the each data each rows data in the text boxes and also button in the next video we will learn how to use update button to perform the update operation so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about how we can get the data grid view from from grid view to text boxes and also radio button in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can generate the event and perform the operation to update the record in the database using this application okay so first of all I generate the event double click on the button okay then I have already basically uh, made the variable and this variable have a ID okay here this is a basically variable name this variable stored the table ID okay this ID okay how we can get it this is a process to get the ID from grid view okay now this is a very important we will use this variable to perform the update operation okay okay so let's get start to understand the first step right try catch catch exception exception ex message box dot show ex dot message first you need to call cone dot open cone dot close and then you need to call cmd equal to new SQL command parenthesis double commas use the query query is use update this is a query guys this is a keyword and uh, enter the table name the table name is employee and then you need to write the set keyword okay then enter the each column name without first column first column will get the ID we will use it on the last final step okay so use update uh, table table name set keyword the each column name okay so I go to my database without this column you need to enter the first column name copy it and paste column on here then you need to enter the equal sign single commas double commas plus plus sign in this parenthesis I mean uh, inside the plus sign you need to enter the each text box name which will match the columns okay okay so the first column name is txt name so you need to enter the txt name on here txt name dot text after the single comma you need to write the comma and use single comma double comma plus plus sign second column name okay now thank just a minute I remove it then you need to write the basically second column second column database okay copy the second column name and paste here then use equal sign single comma double comma plus plus sign and second column text box name okay then use comma and go to the database and enter, uh, find copy the third column name and paste here and use equal sign single commas double commas plus plus sign uh, txt designation this is a designation column use comma and copy the imply email column name this is a database columns okay single comma double comma plus plus sign txt email dot text and then you need to write the comma and uh, find the column name copy it paste here equal sign single comma 
double comma plus plus sign txt id dot text and then use comma okay this is a gender so we need to just write a gender this is a database column name and I assign the value single commas double commas plus plus sign and just call the gender we will use if else statement gender okay now the after the single comma you need to write the again comma and final database column name copy it and paste here use equal sign single comma double comma plus plus sign and txt address dot text after this single comma you need to write the where keyword and first column name first column name is employee id copy it and paste here then you need to write the equal sign single comma double commas plus plus sign and you need to pass the variable i have already initialized the variable on above here this is the variable name copy it and this variable have a id so you need to copy the variable and paste the variable on here then you need to write the after the double comma you need to write the con that's it this is your complete query okay the final step you need to write the cmd.execute non query parenthesis this is a your update query and uh, now another thing I will basically use the false statement to string gender if rvtn mal dot checked and uh, gender equal to mal and uh, else gender equal to female okay guys so and I'm gonna display the message box message box dot show and parentheses and double commas your data has been updated so I run the program so let's check it registration I found double click on the asif and I change the first time asif Ali and click to update your data has been updated okay okay let's check it to database uh, you guys you can see it asif Ali now I wanna use the update button then the record will automatically update in the grid view so what I can do guys just copy the method where is the method uh, just copy the display method copy it and paste after the update display message paste that's it run the program registration I open the common on and I change the name Daniel okay and I click to update okay now guys you can see this is a call updation to update the record now another thing I will teach you but I check the time period of the video okay now the final step we will use the delete button but I think I will tell you on later because we will uh, use another important thing like export data from grid view to excel sheet and also search the data from grid view so i think i will tell you on later so thank you very much for watching see you next uh, lecture hello guys welcome back in this video i'm going to teach you how you can use a delete button to delete the record okay this is very simple just double click on the delete button to generate the event okay we have used uh, basically a variable id okay it is very important to perform the operation like updation and deletion okay and also get the data from grid view now we have basically get the we have got the data from grid view using 
one by one column name okay this is our, our variable and this variable have a id id which it is very important to perform the operation like updation and deletion okay so i have got the id in the in this variable so using this variable i update the record i have updated the record using this id like this okay now you can use it to perform the delete operation okay how that's very simple write the keyword try catch exception ex parenthesis is clip bracket and i write the message box dot show dot ex dot message and use the con dot open basically this is a connection right guys i have already explained you each knowledge okay so guys i call cmd i have already defined the sql command object on above section so i use cmd new sql command parenthesis double comma you need to write the query the query is delete from this is a keyword and table name and you need to write the where keyword and first column name the first column name is apply id copy it and paste here then you need to write the equal sign single commas double commas plus plus sign and just a pass variable i have already defined the variable after double commas you need to write the comma and call the con that's it display the message but you need to write the cmd dot execute non query and display the message your record has been deleted okay now i wanna use the after the delete record from grid view then the the grid view data will automatically update display the update okay so i copy the method of the display so i paste here just paste okay i copy them and paste after the connection clause save run the program registration i select first um, kadim okay this is a kadim i click delete your record has been deleted okay now guys you can see here i select basically dania camera okay now i will tell you another thing i close the program and uh, i run the program and i use registration but you can see here the first time save update and delete button are enabled even and remove or hide the update and delete button so what i can do guys just write the on the constructor go to the constructor this is your constructor and call the button name btn what is the name of the button okay i just took a minute guys button 3 button i do not change the button okay button 1 okay button 2 button 3 i use button 2 button 2 dot uh, i think i wanna disable it enabled kill to false okay button 2 3 okay enabled false okay save so and run the program okay guys now you can see it but i wanna get the data from a uh, grid view then those buttons will automatically display on the same position so i just uh, need to go on the grid view this is a grid view and i just call button 2 dot enable equal to true 
button three dot enable tree tree okay save I run the program okay but I double click on it okay you can perform those operations okay now I will include another things the first is I copy paste here the button and I change the button name export in Excel okay now and another thing I will basically enter the search box copy and paste here I change the name search from got by name okay I copy the text box and paste here and set up the text box and change the text box name txt search okay now the next video we will talk about how we can search the record from grid view okay so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can uh, use text box like this to search the record from grid view okay the first step you need to select the text box and uh, go to property and generate the event go to the event and generate the event text changed okay text change double click on it to generate the event okay after completing this process you need to call the con open con close it means connection open connection close then you need to call ADPT adapter kill to do SQL adapter I have already defined the SQL adapter on a bo uh, SQL adapter SQL adapter is used to read the record okay and I use parenthesis and double comma in this double commas inside the double commas I write the query select steric from my table name where my basically I wanna search the uh, record from grid view using by name so I select the column name like employee name and I use like keyword then I use single comma then percentage percentage sign inside the percentage sign you need to write double commas plus plus sign and then you need to call the txt search box dot text after the final double comma you need to write con and terminator okay select steric from employee table name where keyword the column name which will use to search the record by name use like keyword and single comma then percentage sign and double comma plus sign search box or text box name plus sign double comma percentage single comma and this is a query double commas okay here is starting and closing double comma connection okay then you need to call dt equal to new data table and call the adpt dot fill and pass the dt then you need to call data grid view dot data source and kill to dt that's it save and then run the program I uh, go to this select the search and I wanna search the ASIF ASIF now guys you can see here I search the Daniel now guys you can see here I search as a okay this is a call searching this is a by name we want to search the record by ID just need to change the column name 
column name the first column name I use the ID search run the program and I just write the number okay two three four okay this is the call searching okay guys this is a very simple video all about how you can use search box to search the record from grid view so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can export the grid view data into excel sheet so first of all we need to generate the event on click so I double click on export in excel button then the next step we need to import the library okay so I go to the solution explorer right click the references okay and click to add service preferences okay sorry I go add references okay now this option and search just to search excel okay now select the microsoft excel 15.0 object library select check mark it and click to add after adding the object now guys you can see here microsoft office in top excel added in your project then the next step you need to import the library i go to above and i enter the using system dot i using microsoft dot office dot intro dot excel after importing this library the data table has been displayed the error then you need to write the system dot data dot error has been removed now copy it and paste on the next table like this and find another table I have basically declared a table okay now paste here okay now the first step you need to make an object so you need to write the Microsoft dot office dot intro dot excel and in dot application and enter the object name I write the object name excel and use excel to new and use same process microsoft office dot intro dot excel parenthesis terminator sign okay and top uh, application dot application parenthesis now the next step you need to make a object workbook so write the workbook and enter the object name I write the WB and a kill sign then I call this object okay copy it and paste here then you need to write the dot sign workbooks work books okay then you need to write the dot sign and add enter the parenthesis and then you need to pass the object so you need to write the excel sheet type okay dot and uh, excel worksheet okay terminator sign and then guys the next step you need to make a worksheet object worksheet ws equal to new okay. worksheet and you need to uh, guys costing the worksheet so I use equal sign parenthesis and call worksheet then I call object of the application like this paste where I'll use dot sign active sheet active sheet okay now the final step you need to call the object name excel dot active sheet actual to true okay and then we will use for loop what is this excel dot active mm, just a minute guys 
Mm, I think okay I just remove it and I just use dot visible Excel dot visible actually to three okay okay now then we need to make a object uh, I mean uh, guys you know for loop okay so I use for loop and uh, use process make a variable int j and assign the value to and I call j less than equal to data grid view name dot rows dot count and terminator sign j plus plus okay let's click bracket and I use nested for loop and call int i equal to 1 and i less than equal to write any number okay I just write the sixth number you can write any number on here I write 1 that's working fine okay and then I use I plus plus I will tell you on later the working process but this time I just write the uh, for loop process and I call the WS uh, basically work cell okay copy it and paste here and I just write the dot cell in this bracket I write the bracket and I write the j variable and i variable okay and then i use equal sign data grid view dot rows and i use brackets again and i use j abstraction by two dot cells and uh, i equal to uh, abstraction by one dot value okay now guys first time the j variable value 2 the default grid view index number is 0 right guys and uh, the cell index number is 0 but I have initialized the one value on the i variable and I call the wc this is a worksheet object and I use dot cell and I pass the j variable and i variable then I assign the value data grid view dot rows and I call the same variable and I subtraction by 2 it means that j variable have 0 value I mean 0 index and I use i minus 1 it means variable i have 0 value dot value and those value will assign on the uh, I mean this statement and th this is a, a loop process you know guys then we need to make another loop to get the columns okay so I use far int i equal to 1 and I use i less than data grid view dot columns columns dot count and plus one the default column uh, will start on zero so I just write the plus add I mean plus one then I use I plus plus script bracket and I use the nested for loop but I just uh, write the WC object WS object worksheet object yeah. then I call the dot cells and pass the I comma just write one comma I okay and then I use data grid view dot columns bracket I minus one I mean subtraction by one dot header text okay finally you need to write terminator sign this loop will get the columns which column available on the grid view okay and finally you need to write the for loop to get the data from grid view i equal to 0 i less than 2 data grid view 1 dot columns dot count and subtraction by 1 and I plus plus and I use far and j equal to 0 and I use j less than data grid view name 
dot columns dot count finally terminator sign j plus plus split bracket and we need to write the another split bracket because I removed split bracket in this split brackets you need to pass the WS admin worksheet this is a worksheet object dot cells brackets in this bracket you need to pass the i variable and plus 2 and I use comma and I pass the second variable j and assign the value plus 1 okay and call the data grid view dot rows which rows available on the data grid view I don't know I just write the i variable dot cells bracket j variable dot value dot two string okay this is a process to get the grid view data into excel sheet we will see the grid view data our application data will appear on the excel sheet the working process is you need to make an object of the microsoft dot office intro this object okay and in this object behalf you need to make a workbook to make an object and in this behalf you need to make a worksheet object okay then you need to count the grid view cells or rows rows sorry uh, this is rows using nested for loop okay and then you need to count the column which available on the grid view and finally you will get the all data from grid view this is a process loop process okay so save and I run the program and I use registration and I click export okay now guys you can see here but the best way here this is a basically you can see here error has appeared but you need to write the try catch to handle the error so I cut the code and use try and use catch slip bracket and use exception okay just write exception I do not write the object name and paste the code under the try body save and run the program export okay now guys you can see here no error appear this is our uh, first column name second column third column fourth column and fifth column sixth and seven and this is the add column okay now guys you can I will include the another data for example I write the right new mama and I raise Taylor that at gmail.com and I write ID 1029 etc and select the gender and write the no about so in Pakistan and I click to save okay that has appeared in the grid view I wanna get the whole data into excel sheet so I just click on export okay guys now you can see it so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can design the login form okay so first step you need to select the solution explorer right click on the project and go to the add new item and then select the windows form and enter the form name I write the form name login and hit enter then define the size of the login form okay and I just uh, customize the windows form center center okay and then I select the background color white okay then the next step I wanna guys 
use label label text box button okay I set the label I just uh, set the label and enter the label name surname okay this is the programming name so guys I just uh, change the username and then I set up the first input box box and I just uh, click to play button to just set up the login form and then I set up guys just a minute I just uh, set up the first and first input text box and label I copy them paste here what is this copy paste I can't do that okay what is this okay I copy paste copy paste okay and I use the password and I select the each uh, I mean text box one txt u name txt password password and then I need to use the password like char here this is a password char you need to write the static sign or dot sign but best way to use the dots uh, I mean static sign it will appear the text in the static sign because it is a password okay and set up the login form and I just uh, name login and change the button name pt and login I don't need to use button copy both text box and okay and I go to the main form and select the one button and copy the color button select the login form and paste the uh, where is the background big color big color I find the big color okay and I change the type of flight okay and I also change the border okay okay now looking so nice then the next step I wanna change the font and uh, increase the size and also I change the color okay that's looking so nice okay now another thing I when I include the picture so I select the picture box okay and I click to play choose image basically I have already downloaded the image so I go to desktop and this is our image selected okay and I use again play button and set up the scratch okay now guys okay now the next step I will tell you on later to make a database and also connection so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how we can make a connection and also database okay before working on it but we need to set up the input I mean form to remove the maximize button so I select the form and find the maximize box here okay false okay I have already opened the SQL server now guys you can see it we need to make a table so I make a table create table I write the table name login users parenthesis 
and I use the first column name is UID integer primary key identity one by one comma and I use U name washer type of the range I just write the 50 and uh, U pass type watcher I don't need to write the comma after the last column select query and run the query okay now use select statement to check the login user okay this is a uh, those are our, uh, basically columns the one is primary key identity column second uname password so we need to insert the manually record in the table insert into login form I use the values parentheses and I use admin and the password I just write the SM admin okay select and run the query okay admin you name it, admin password we need to make a connection between um, I mean this form and also secure server okay so I just write the event on click and then I use the using system dot dot data dot SQL client and then we are able to use the connection between SQL server and Windows farm application this is another farm right guys and then uh, after creating a connection then we are able to use to check the data database with login form okay so we need to make a connection now another way is very helpful to make a class and uh, you just uh, make a connection and then you are able to make object of the class and you will use the connection any form without importing the library okay but this time you just write and just know the basic uh, way and basic usage so in this tutorial I will tell you another way to make a connection and also match the data from database with login form okay so first step we need to basically make a SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection in this connection I just uh, commented we need to make a basically object a SQL command cmd equal to new SQL command parenthesis in this parenthesis we need to pass the write the query the query is select static from table name the table name is I uh, check the table name you lock in user copy table name and paste here and then you need to write the where statement and write the column name the first column name is UID I don't need to write the first column ID I just uh, write the second column and third column name because this is a our primary key identity column so I copy the first column name and where is a basically paste here and then you need to write the equal sign and use the at the rate and write any name as you like okay write at the rate sign and enter the any name I write the name name and I use and keyword and I copy second column which appear on the database you pass and copy it paste here and use same process use equal sign and at the rate sign enter the any name I write pass okay guys then we need to basically make a connection this is a process to use the uh, I mean uh, run the query to match the data but we need to make a connection so I go to above and call connection connection to new SQL connection and I use the connection data source initial catalog 
integrated security tree data source i will go to my secure server copy the server name and paste server name here and uh, we need to write the database name our database name is registration copy it and paste registration on the initial catalog we need to remove the error so use forward slash again and finally you need to write terminator sign this is our connection okay guys then you need to call uh, I mean after the double comma you need to write comma and call con this is our connection declared on above and I call this connection on here then we need to make uh, basically I mean parameter type to match the data text box and also uh, I mean uh, database columns so I write the cmd cmd dot I just write the dot add parameter sorry dot add parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to write the database column name I write double commas and copy the first column name with the parameter like this paste here and I use a comma and call the first text box name dot text and copy it and paste here then you need to change the second parameter like this copy it and paste here and change the second text box name txt pass dot text then the next step you need to call the data adapter so I write the SQL data adapter ADPT equal to new SQL adapter in this adapter you need to pass the CMD okay then we need to make a data set object data set ds equal to new data set parenthesis terminator sign and you need to call adpt dot fill this is a adapter object dot fill and pass the uh, ds data set object okay now the final step is you need to make a if statement and I just write the just a minute copy it first I use try and catch and paste the code under the body try and I use exception and I use ex message box dot show message box dot show ex dot message and then we need to make a if else statement so I cut the code and use if parenthesis is clip bracket else split bracket parenthesis in this if body I paste the code I do not paste the code because I wanna display the message on the on the basically screen so I cut the code I use first txt uname dot text equal to empathy and txt pass dot text equal to empathy then display this message message box dot show please enter user enter user name and password finally you need to write the terminator sign and I use else statement to paste the code then the final step you need to guys write the if no I just make a variable int count equal to data set object tables bracket the default index number zero dot rows count 
okay I count the rows and assign the rows 0 on this variable and I use if count variable equal to 1 if count variable it means the value available on the table now as you can see here that one number available on the one index okay so I just uh, check the condition using one then display the message box dot show you have successfully logged in otherwise I use else statement and display the message box dot show please enter please enter username please check username and password okay the final step save the final step you need to open the application the starting time uh, you know will display the login form on the screen I run the program first you will see this application will appear on the screen okay but I wanna display the login form on the starting time then this application will appear okay so what I can do guys just a minute go to the solution explorer and find the program this is the program and click to play sign program this is your main method double click on it in this method you can see here form 1 appeared you need to change the name you will display the starting time login form you so you need to write the login form name I have designed the login form with the name of login so I just write the login name parenthesis that's it save and close it run the program okay guys now you can see here starting time we are seeing the login form okay so I write the admin and enter the password admin and I hit enter you have successfully logged in okay now I change the password please check username user username okay I just change the text okay user user and I run the program okay guys now you can see here I write the admin and admin okay I wanna redirect with main page so what I can do guys I just make object I make object uh, what is the first form name okay this is a okay what is the first form name just a minute guys okay where is the form just a minute this is a form okay now I wanna redirect on this page after completing the successfully message I mean uh, after logging the username and password the user will redirect with main application or home application on home of the application so you need to write the object form one make object or be equal to new form object or write the obj dot show that's it save I run the program I write the username admin and admin okay now guys you can see but you can see here uh, the login form has appeared do you want to remove it after completing this process so you need to write the this dot height that's it set and run the program I write the admin and I use admin login okay okay now guys you can see no any data appeared on the backend side or application so guys I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can use 
keyboard tab button in the input text box it means you will be able to use keyboard tab button to perform the operations like uh, one tab to jump another tab okay so this is our registration form I go to the view and select the tab order and I select the starting input text box this and then I this I just click on the tab I mean text boxes okay and this 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 okay now save and run the program and then you need to wait a couple of seconds to load the program and then you are able to use the keyboard tab button to perform the operations like one tab to another tab I use admin and password is admin I need to use the okay registration I am able to in the name tab I press keyboard tab button to jump another tab I keyboard press tab button to jump in third input text box use tab button here you can see it this is the radio button okay now guys you can see here just a minute to complete this process then we will be able to perform the uh, buttons usage okay now guys you can see here okay now another thing I wanna click on exit button then I am able to I'm I will redirect with a login page so I close it and stop the program and go to the form and double click the event I mean uh, exit menu in previous lecture we have discussed how we can use the exit button to close the program but this time we need to redirect with login page so we need to make an object login page so I uh, enter the login page I mean login form name and make an object and then I just write the obj dot show and I just write the this dot height parenthesis terminator sign run the program okay I write admin and I write admin login successfully okay now I click exit okay guys now you can see it okay this is a very simple video all about the basic knowledge uh, to use uh, with redirect with another page and uh, use keyboard tab button to perform the operations thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys